What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing a great day today. My name is Shiv and welcome back to my channel where we study for senior front end engineering interview questions. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next question in our series. We are asked to build a rate limiter in JavaScript. Before I dive into the question, I do want to mention that we're only 11 subscribers away from hitting 100 subscribers. So please do smash that like button below. With that, let's get started. So what is a rate limiter? Basically, whenever you expose a web service or an API endpoint, you need to implement some kind of rate limiter to prevent DDoS attacks. So in this question, we're asked to implement a rate limiter class with an isAllow method. Every request comes in with a unique client ID. We want to deny the request if the request has been made uh, more than 100 requests within the past second. So let's look at this example below. So imagine we can call this rate limiter class and now we are uh, processing some kind of API endpoint. Uh, with that endpoint, we want to be able to pull the client ID and we're assuming the client ID is available in the request headers. And what we will check here is we'll say if the rate limiter dot is allowed is false, meaning that too many requests have been made, then we're going to send a status 429 with a message saying too many requests uh, and then just return, return it because we don't want to process that request. Otherwise, we'll continue processing the request. By the way, rate limiter and along with 40 other plus front-end engineering interview questions are available on frontendlead.com. This is a comprehensive website that I've created that has the most frequently asked front-end engineering interview questions on the market. Questions that are generally asked by top tech FANG companies. If you're studying for front-end engineering interviews, I suggest checking out frontendlead.com. Now let's get back into the code. So let's build out this rate limiter class. So what we'll say here is we'll say class rate limiter and we'll provide a, a constructor. And within the constructor, we'll define one class variable. Let's just call this requests, which is an empty object by default. And then we want to specify the is allow method. And this method, remember, takes in a client ID. Now what we want to check here is we want to define three variables. So the first is time in seconds which is math.floor and date.now divided by 1000. This will just give us time in seconds, basically. So let's just write that out, time in seconds. And then we want to define another variable called request time, which is time in seconds minus one. This is just going to subtract one second from the request. Next, we wanna actually pull all of the requests that are made from that specific client ID. So we'll say const all requests equals to this dot requests with the client ID. And if that is not available, we'll just use an empty list for now. So next, what we wanna do is we wanna filter all the requests based off of the most recent requests that are being made. So we'll say const updated requests equals to all requests dot filter time stamp. And inside the timestamp, what we'll say is as long as the timestamp is greater than request time, then we want to return those. Now we can check if updated requests dot length is greater than 100 then we just want to return false otherwise if the updated request at length is less than 100 then what we can do is we can update this dot requests with the client id so we'll say this dot requests client id equals to updated requests. We also have to push our current timestamp within the updated requests. So we'll say updated request dot push request time. And finally, we'll just return true here. And that's it. 
this is how you go ahead and build a rate limiter with an is allow method in JavaScript. If you guys found this video helpful, remember to press the subscribe and like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.